Today we're excited to tell you about a rare Taylor guitar that we recently uncovered and brought into our hot little hands. We're going to tell you about this Clint Black signature model, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Teespring store. Link below for our custom designed t-shirts. You know, I almost kind of said like Alamo Music Channel, but that's cool. It's what was your good. idea once? We should do Alamo music. Yeah, Alamo, and there'll be ice cream specials. I love it. For all the uh, all the Who wants to employees. see that? You come visit us, yeah. and you check out guitar, and you get ice cream. Not before you play the guitar, because we don't ice cream on the guitars. Yeah. We come up with different flavors named after like famous musicians. Yeah. An Elvis Presley. What would the Clint Black be? Just a really dark chocolate, maybe? Dark chocolate, and there's a little harmonica inside. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a Clint Black signature model. You know who that is, right? Oh, I'm a big Clint Black fan. I'm yeah. not even kidding. No, yeah. no, yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, he's awesome. So, uh, yeah, not a big country music Hall of Fame star at all. No, I don't think so. But Clint Black has been a Taylor player for years. And in the early 2000s, uh, this is a 2001, right? Yeah, yeah 2001. So. They did a number of signature model guitars. Uh, now, we previously did a video on the Kenny Loggins uh, Taylor along with a cool... Uh, limited edition Brazilian guitar. If you haven't seen that video, you can link up there. One of those guitars might still be available. Um, but th that was part of that mm -hmm. series of uh, very limited signature model guitars. Yeah. And the Clint Black was part of that series. They only made 100 of them. This is number 56. And it is just an incredibly... Out of all of those that they did, I remember looking at this going, wow, the 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 inlay on that is incredibly intricate. Yeah. So we saw this recently at the Guitarlington show. We did. So if you don't know what Guitarlington is, it's a guitar show that happens in Arlington. Makes sense, right? Um, and while at the show, we saw this and was like, I have to have it uh, to show you wonderful people. And then one of you has to have it. That's, it's wild because it looks very, not simple, but classic Taylor grand concert body style. And then, the fretboard kind of catches your eye, and I can't stop looking at it. Does that say these times yes, on there? Yes, it does. Is that a, uh, was that like a single that he did at that time or, or something? Or part like, of a line in the song, something? yeah. What's your favorite Clint Black tune? I'd have, I'll, I'll, I will have to get back to you on that. My head. You know that song, uh, uh, State of Mind? Yes. I love that I song. I love that dude. song. I yeah, would I, love to check out what the sheet music on there is. Not only do I love yeah. Clint Black's music, it brings back a particular memory for me. Yeah. With my family, I had an uncle who had property down at Baffin Bay, and uh, we'd go out there and listen to Clint's music and a little fish. burn one down. It yeah. is awesome. So, anyway, so let's talk about what this guitar. I'm playing it when I'm not supposed to be playing it, but it's because I want to play this guitar. So let's talk about what this guitar is. It is based upon a 2001 912 CE. So we love 900 series Taylors here. Uh, that, this is definitely the upper echelon of Taylors, but it's got some unique specific appointments to it that make it a little different than normal 912. So it's a 912 CE, it has an Engelman spruce top, so if you see kind of some differencing, differences in the color of the top and the book matching, that's because it's Engelman. My 914C of the same vintage does that. It's basically from run out that's in those trees um, so that if you, you know, see it, one side being darker than the other, depending upon how the light hits it. It's cool, though. It's cool. Yeah. Beautiful, what you would call silking on this top. It's just those cross medullary lines shows those perfectly mm -hmm. quarters on piece. So um, the binding on it's a little different than uh, like my 914C. It is ivory binding. It has a beautiful abalone top uh, border, abalone rosette. But unlike other 900 series, more really like a presentation series, it's got abalone everywhere else on the body too. Some beautiful abalone purfling on the back, on the sides, and on the top. And talk about the pair of rosewood on the back, like the yeah. that grain on there, the book matching on that piece is yeah. very nice. Real, just basically, these would get the finest sets of Engelman's Bruce and finest sets of East Indian rosewood that Taylor had, period. Um, and then of course, you know, it's got your typical 
Taylor set up uh, with the rest of it, mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge. Um, you have this, what really makes the Clint Black signature model though is this very intricate inlay. Yeah. And it was something that Clint designed with Taylor as an homage to songwriting. And that's one of the things I love about it. You've got to the music staff coming off of it and the, the pen, the quill, uh, that's kind of intertwined there with the music staff. And then you've got it echoed up here again, just very delicately. Yeah. It's on cool. the headstock, and I love how it just kind of goes through the logo, and it's just kind of yeah. like this snapshot of this up close part of the quill that's there on that ebony headstock. Um, just an absolutely beautiful guitar. Now, as a songwriter yourself, you could probably appreciate that. Quite yeah, no, it's just cool. I mean, everything that I've ever heard about him in interviews and everything, it's all about the songwriting. His voice is great, and his playing is great. Harmonica is awesome, but he's all about. Like he's just a very great songwriter, so it's cool that it's mirrored in the inlay. It's like a different time of Taylor's inlay. Yes. In, in that time, it's even with the Kenny Loggins, it's just so intricate and cool, and now it's very refined. And you know, there's always custom things, but this is like all out with the extravagance. But it's still a nicely understated guitar with nothing superfluous that doesn't need to be there you know it's all just yeah. framed really nicely yeah so beautiful inlay amazing guitar on its own um it, it sounds fantastic so i'm gonna put it through its paces you can check it out for yourself and we'll catch you on the other side
So there you have it. Wonderful demo of this uh, Clint Black signature model, if I do say so myself. One of the things I forgot to mention earlier is the Schaller tuners, which they don't do anymore. Gotos are fantastic, but these Schallers, uh, my, I have a Doyle Dyke signature model that's a 2001 as well, has these on it. Just really great uh, tuners with these ebony buttons on them. I love them. Lightweight, very precise, very cool. Um, man, you know, <laughs> talking about his music, I'm going to, I'll confess to something. It was really funny. My wife and my whole family made fun of me for it. But you ever watch The Masked Singer? I have not watched that. So I know what it is. So you get okay. addicted watching that stupid show. <laughs> uh, and now they're doing every spinoff imaginable of it. But he was on that show with his wife. Yeah. They were a pair. It was the first time they'd actually had like a pair act. And uh, they, not a parrot, but a pair act, you know. <laughs> and they were, uh, they were snow owls. And I'm trying to remember the first song they did, but they did this song. Nobody knew who they were in the costume, right? But, you know, as soon as they sang, I'm like, that's Clint Black and his wife. I mean, like, come on. Yeah. Um, but uh, it was, like, so moving that I was, like, crying. You know when music hits you that way? Yeah. And my whole family's, like, making fun of me. I'm like, I don't care. That was just a was fantastic just performance. I, so, will, I will say, too, that so we, we got five guitars total at Guitarlington. Each of them is very cool. Each of them had... A specific reason why they were picked out and brought back to Alamo Music to then get to one of y'all. Am I wrong in saying that this is your favorite and this is the one that you are most excited about grabbing? Probably, and I, you know, it's hard to pick a favorite. Yeah. But yeah, maybe you know, this is a great guitar. I'm partial to 900 series anyway. Yeah. I love the combination of tone woods. It looks really fantastic with the intricate inlay, and it's super rare. Yeah. I mean, there's a hundred of them. When, uh, when I, I posted a photo on Facebook in a Taylor owner's group, and Aaron Dablo, our friend from Taylor, who's like national sales manager at Taylor, he's seen a lot of Taylors. He was like, no way. Yeah. And when he was here the other day, we were like, look, check it out. He's like, man, you never see these. Like, yeah. period. So It's just cool. I mean, also at the show, there was a lot, a lot of just low-grade, very, very old vintage stuff. And it seemed almost like... The By the way, when he says low grade, he doesn't mean cheap. Yeah. That's was, for another video. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other video. Um, it was a, a ton of vintage that was just had been dragged through the mud for 50 years. And it seemed like, strangely enough, both dealers and just pedestrians that had come into the show were overlooking like pristine... Gems. High-end, yeah. rare acoustic guitars and and newer you know newer electrics and newer acoustics from the 2000s and stuff like that but the fact that someone would overlook this and then go pay 30 grand for a retopped j45 from the 60s or whatever it was that's a whole other video um luckily we got our hands on this one because this is just a really cool piece that, when yeah. you were about to say something earlier i thought you were going to say it looks new because it just about looks new. Yeah. There's like two dings on the top here. But yeah, it looks like it's it's yeah. been impeccably cared for. And the other cool thing is the case. So if Taylor aficionados of the late 90s and early 2000s will remember, this is what we would refer to as a pink poodle plush case. Because the inside's plush, pink, poodle-looking you know, stuff uh, that they that got discontinued because they lost their manufacturer. And then for a while, the cases were monkey butt fur cases. Uh, people on the Taylor Guitar Forums remember that because they looked like the fur of a circus, like, prize, like a carnival prize monkey. That's yeah. kind of what it looked like. Yeah, and now they're really nice again and very similar to these cases. So it's pretty cool. It's like, ah, oh, even the case is the right era. So. Yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways, if you'd like more information about this really limited edition, very rare guitar, you want to check out our website. What's the web address, Cooper? It's www.alamomusic.com and ask your parents' permission before you log on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sure there's a story behind that comment. <laughs> but you can chat live with one of our associates, and if you are chatting to buy a guitar, I guess make sure you're old enough and can find the guitar. Um, but yeah, we've got photography of these guitars on there, specs for all the guitars, and we can help you sort through and find the right guitar for you. But I always say at the end of the day, the very best guitar in the world is a Clint Black signature model. One of 100 made. Yeah, yeah, number 56, baby. So if you'd like more information, definitely check it out, chat with someone, and this could be your extremely limited, unless I take it home.
and then you miss out. But I haven't decided that yet. So now's your chance. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. And if you want to check out what we're doing on Patreon, we have a link in the description to lead you to check out all of that stuff. Right? Yep. yep. All right. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.